Good evening guys. I am currently a little bit late to go and have dinner with my parents. They've actually arranged a little pre-dinner cocktail tasting. I completely forgot about it until now. So I'm rushing to go have dinner with them. It's actually my little pre-birthday dinner that we're having. My grandma's coming, a few of my friends are coming, and I was kind of just toying with what to wear. I feel like summer has just hit and I'm in the mood for like a summery dress. This dress is so cute, it's from Revolve. They have it in black and white but look at this one i was the kind of thinking maybe cherry so i need to try oh my gosh i need to try that on without getting my makeup all over it and then we can go to theirs can you take me seriously right now with my nose contour on but i am hoping for multiple stews multiple rices i said to my mama i was like i want all the big hitters tonight like i want the persian feast that she makes that we know and love that is my birthday present i want literally like four different kinds of rice hence why i'm also wearing this dress because do we have a bit too much blush on proceeds to try and blend blush with more blush full outfit of the night ready for birthday dinner at my parents got this little new reformation dress on they have two styles with this print one is straight down and one has this little salsa-esque Skirt. I chose the one with the like salsa skirt. Got Cassidy heels on. My little Alia bag, complete with a phone case inside. Oh, you can see the dress a bit better now. Wow, straight yeah. to cocktail tasting. Okay, so try this. Estee has arrived. This is the best white wine I've ever tasted in my entire life. It doesn't even taste like white wine. It tastes like heaven. It has been a long week. <laughs> I don't know anything about wine. Well, it's but... very, very good. Is it? Yes. Yes. Oh, my margarita, thank you so much. I wonder what's that? My mom. I told them they weren't strong enough. I'll look on a map. <laughs> wow, look at this. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, look what you made. Yum. My favorite stew. Look at the rice. Oh, wow. I love this for you, Estee. Everyone is up. Estee is ready to eat. Plate of shots has arrived. This course of dessert is Alfonso Mango. <laughs> Okay, dessert is here. Look at this. Wow, wait. Everybody needs their kind of friends. Which kind of friends? No, I was literally saying, I was like, I think tell Billy that I killed someone. I'm like, I will be there being like, right. Bury this bitch. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh my god, we met! How cute! No, Mama Rachel always brings good pictures whenever she comes. So this is of her and my grandpa in the casino in Lebanon. Look at her! Isn't that so cool? Good morning, good morning, good morning from Hyde Park. It's such a beautiful day and Lauren and I are doing our Saturday morning routine of a walk in the park and a workout. Sorry, I actually have my fair lady music in my ear and it's very distracting. Let me turn this off. I have Julie Andrews singing along in my ear. Let me try and find Lauren and then we're gonna go to Jay and sweat out the hangover because last night was pretty wild actually. There were shots going around, there was music kicking off. It was really, really fun. Plus point of having your best friend on find friends. You can find each other in the park. What is happening oh, here? It's a veteran's day. Is it veteran's day? No, I think it was the other day. It was Days. Oh, look at all these horses. Is this is the last year yeah. that you can celebrate Veterans Day. Why is it the last year? Should we cross here? Because everyone who enlisted in World War II, I would say, would have been 20. So that means that this year there are 100. Wow. So this is the last year that you've got most of the people. Like people. Oh my God. If I've got cool. that route. Right. Someone will correct us if it's wrong. Please correct me. <laughs> I love all the horses. So, yeah. Such a great session on Sunday. I was telling Amelia. Oh, yeah, she was your butt workout. Oh my gosh. Look at these insanely beautiful flowers. Aren't they amazing? It smells so good. They're all roses and peony. Oh, oh, my doorbell. They're from Lauren and Tamara and they're so cute. Oh my God, it's so sweet. And I love, I love how it says, dear BB, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they smell insane. I think these are garden roses. Look at these roses, aren't they so beautiful? Happy birthday to you. Many birthdays to you. Happy day, love of my life. Many birthdays to you. Thank you, Mama Rachel. <laughs> how are you, love of my life? I'm good, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you. So I'll yeah. see you later at dinner. I'll see you at dinner, yeah. My day, say my day, you you. Good evening, guys. Good evening. I'm getting ready for another little birthday celebration. I'm so lucky. I feel very special. I'm going for dinner with my family tonight. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants in Chelsea, which is called Dining. Putting on my deodorant here, nothing but glitz and glam. Yep, okay, don't mind me. This top is from H&M and it's just such a great little top. Can you hear that background music? Pop a lock and poke and dotting. And then I have some Rails jeans on, which I got all to actually a new birthday present that I will show you. I'll do a big one I got for my birthday. These a brand new for my birthday that I got, little Jan Vito. They're almost like denim, aren't they cool? And they have PVC on them. I love how they look. It's still kind of wintry today. London has regressed where the forecast. Anyway, so now I'm, I'm literally back in jeans, but I'll show you my outfit quickly. So we got the little H&M off shoulder top on. This house about, which I think is back in stock, so I'll link that down below with the Rails jeans. My favorite Rails jeans. I actually bought these jeans and got them altered. What do we think? My new thing is altering jeans. I've spent this entire year looking for good jeans and I gave up and just decided to alter jeans to fit me and then my new birthday shoes and my little dual bag Before yeah. we've even got yeah. to dinner, yeah. Mama Rachel has pulled out some pictures. I want to see this one. I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. Look at the outfits. So cool. That was your engagement party. Yeah, yeah, this is my engagement oh my God, that's right. so cool. You both look a bit scared. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello, Mom. What a cute outfit you have Thank on. Thank you. I love yours. Oh, thanks. I love it. It's a new so cute. Oh, you bought me these shoes. <laughs> Thank you for my shoes, please. Oh, I love you. Yes, Mom. Oh, a few surprises yeah. in there, I see. Well, this is the birthday present Thank of you. all. A little you. box of Alfonso mangoes, a mini one. Yum! They're my favorite. Anne has done all the ordering for us because she is queen of ordering. It's so good. This is one of the best things they do with the crispy rice. So pretty! Birthday presents at dinner. Yeah. Wow! Oh my. <laughs> I love a good steak with you. Because you're a vintage girl. 
You know, it's your birthday when you're having birthday cake for breakfast. This cake is so good. I've never known myself to be a vanilla cake person, but the Remy's vanilla. Oh, that's in my mouth. Is there anything better than cake for breakfast? No. Mm. Should we open some birthday presents together this morning? <laughs> Look how cute. So, I wanted to show you, do a little section of what I got for my birthday because I love watching these kind of videos. I do them every year. I thought I'd put it in with a vlog. And also, because I just feel like it's really good inspo, like I get so much good inspo when I watch other people's what they got for their birthdays. So, let me show you. I haven't even unwrapped this yet. It's like still with the plastic on. This is the most incredible Chanel catwalk book. I actually have a couple of these. There's like a Prada one, a Louis Vuitton one, and they're all different colors so they sit really nicely together such a gorgeous idea to get someone a coffee table book because you know why it hits that category of i wouldn't buy this for myself it's one of those gifts that like a really really fancy coffee table book is just such a great gift i also got these shoes these are Gianvito rossi shoes i showed them to you the other day when i went for dinner for my birthday they're little denim pumps now these were not the most comfortable shoes i've ever worn i definitely have some more comfortable pumps in my collection and i didn't do that much walking on my birthday either i think these are get in and out of the car kind of shoe from my friends. I was really spoiled this year. I got so many gorgeous flowers. Like my house literally looks like a florist. So many amazing flowers from brands and from friends. I'll tell you my favorite thing ever, ever, ever to receive is cards. Like I genuinely keep my cards every year. I love a long card. Like a long card is my favorite thing ever to receive. Like I'm a words of affirmations girl. Special words that people take time and like write you and like special cards. I keep them all. I love them so much. Like I treasure them. Like I have a few cards and I've read them like over and over already. Ready. I, d I love cards like I don't care like I know some people think cards are like a waste of paper and like they're completely irrelevant it was a point in my family my, my dad was like no more cards like amongst us like cards are completely used no I want an essay write me a love letter <laughs> I love cards these Bucciolati earrings okay look at how incredible these are I mean, you're gonna fall off your chair. They're so beautiful. Look at how amazing they are, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. They've got little stones in the middle. Like, I'm obsessed with these. Ah, they're so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear them. I also unboxed these early, which you might have seen already. I've talked about them a hundred times now. I wore them for the first time today. I <laughs> literally hadn't worn them. They're so comfortable. These are the little Chanel loafers, which I love so much. Look at these gorgeous pajamas. This is from a brand called Fruity Booty. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. They are such soft fabric and I love little lace like cute girly PJs and I love the yellow. The little shorts, aren't they amazing? This also came with my favorite thing in the whole world, Dairy Milk <laughs> chocolate buttons, which I've already finished. Oh my god, guys, look at this. How cute is this bag? Look at this. It's got like little pears and cherries. Cherries are shaped like a heart and they all have smiley faces on them. It's so cute. I received multiple ladder ash chocolate bags i think there's the fourth one i finished three of them these are little orange peel ladder ash chocolates are the best they're actually swiss but they're just so so good also a little lebanese seven spice which i've never tried before but i tried the zatar from this brand the lebanese cookbook I'm so excited. I need to go through with like my little post-it note and pick some things. Like there's a meze and salad section. I've never made my own hummus. Do you think I'd be good at making my own hummus? Like a winter tabbouleh. Oh my gosh, wow. Ah, oh, spinach and walnut tarts. Another great gift, I think, is a uh, cookbook because it's something that everyone can enjoy and it's like makes you excited. Mama Rachel's cards. Mum Rachel and Dana, who works with me, do the best cards. I don't know why. There's just something about a card that I absolutely fall in love with. This is a really special present and I really love this brand. I've really got into their jewelry recently. I went into their store in Miami and I just tried so many things on and I absolutely love them. This is from David Yerman. They do really gorgeous, like, timeless jewelry pieces as much as i love the cartier and van cleef bracelets i don't 
I own a Cartier bracelet or a Van Cleef, one of those like five Alhambra bracelets, but I did want to build up a bracelet stack that was like maybe a little bit different. Well, these bracelets are still very well known, so I don't actually know if this classifies as different. You can tell me. You might recognize this bracelet which I bought in Miami. And then this one was a gorgeous birthday gift. This is the sculpted cable bracelet in the size small. They do them thicker. I think they do like a small, medium and large. I absolutely love them together. And what I love the most is I can wear them in the shower, which is really important to me because I get so forgetful to take things off. And also the other thing I love is how easy this is to remove with one hand and put on with one hand because otherwise I'm just gonna be there all day. It's literally just like a little pin and it clicks back together. My new little stack really excites me. When I was in Miami, my friend Ed said to me, like I was wearing like loads of loads of loads of bracelets and he was like, this is not a look, gotta change. And I was like, okay, let me try a more sophisticated bracelet stack this year because I always overdose on bracelets. I do like the look of like just two little babies. This, you might have seen me unbox at dinner. These are so beautiful, really, really special earrings. I haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet. I wanna wear them at some point this week, I think, because I just can't wait to wear them. Love Chanel vintage earrings. Can you see the CC in the middle? And it's giving Clover vibes. So Clover, good luck. We love good luck from a Clover. I've actually always wanted one of these. And it's the kind of thing that I probably wouldn't buy myself. When I go into Hermes, there are quite a few things that I want. This is so cute. And it's the kind of thing, if you know, you know, like when you want to dress up your Birkin and have a bit of fun with your bag. This is an Hermes little horse charm. I love that it's orange because I think the Hermes orange is a really beautiful shade of orange. And I love how the horse has like almost like minty white, like gray hair. He's just really sweet. I just love him. I love charms like this. They make me really happy. I have like a bunny charm that's maybe like 15 years old from Laura Piana and I just like keep her safe. I don't even use her because I find her so cute. I will definitely be putting this on my Birkin. This is a couple of things that I totally love. This candle, the Diptyque Roses candle, I have it burning in my shroom right now. Oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like a bouquet of roses. Like it does exactly what it says on the tin. And if you like the smell of roses in your home, like it's beautiful. And then this hand cream is actually one of my favorite hand creams, but I haven't tried this scent. This is Neroli scent. It's the Laurier Mercier Souffle hand cream. I have the vanilla hand cream by my bed and I'm excited to have a Neroli one. I got very, very spoiled this year. I love my presents. Some of them I chose, some of them were a surprise and it was really nice to have like a mix. And honestly, honestly, my favorite gift is always cards like I love cards if someone has given me a gift without a card like I will literally ask them for a card I'm like please can you write me a card I know that's so weird I literally love receiving cards I love opening cards on my birthday like mama Rachel every year she's like what do you want for your birthday and I'm like a card because I also know that she's gone and like chosen this like specific card and it always has a poem about granddaughters on it she like dates them and then she writes like I don't want to show you because it's really really personal but it's literally like two pages ages like full writing i mean i'll just tell you an example like she says you are the highlight of my sunday i watch your vlog with thousands of your followers who like me find it uplifting i also follow you religiously on insta and tiktok and you make me laugh the rest is like quite personal just like very sweet grandma stuff but like how sweet even the other day we were at dinner and someone was like mama rachel you have tiktok and she was like of course like amelia posts three times a day the other thing mama rachel does that's really cute <laughs> is that she signs off and she always signs off like her texts and her messages like this is love you more than yesterday and less than tomorrow cute. I love it so much. And the other thing I ordered today, because I have so many like gorgeous letters and I actually want to keep them like on my bookcase, is like a, one of those letter holders. I'll put in a picture of the one I ordered. A viewer sent it to me on Instagram DM. She sent me this like homeware website and she was like, you might really like this website and I loved it and I saw this letter holder and I was like, that's such a good idea because I always love reading back through my birthday cards and random other cards and things like that. I'm going to keep it on my bookshelf. Anyway, she put Amelia, my sunshine on the envelope, which is why I keep the envelopes if people write like cute things on the envelope. <laughs> I'm a very sentimental person and I like to keep like random keepsakes and things. So that was everything I got for my birthday. I sometimes get really shy to like show everything at once because I feel like I'm like so spoiled and everyone's like so generous and so nice. But then again, I'm like, oh, I know how much people love seeing it. I know how much I love seeing them. And also it's kind of a tradition for me now. Like I feel like I've done what I've got for my birthday videos. Like every birthday since I've been on YouTube, that it would feel weird to not do one. Day 345 of eating cake. <laughs> for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Down. I'm so sorry. Look how insane these flowers are. So beautiful. I can't believe it. Wow. These are from Wild at Heart Flowers. They're not from them, but they've been bought from Wild at Heart Flowers. It's one of my favorite places in Mayfair. They're so beautiful. How's the cake, by the way? So good, isn't it? Yum. I literally can't believe this cake is still caking. I know it's gluten-free. Honestly, the best gluten-free cake, I think. Gee, Hummingbird does a good gluten-free too. Mm. Lotus 
was very impressive. Yeah, Lola's was good, but that's not gluten free. I know. Lola's gluten free is okay. Weenie's gluten free is amazing. It's so good. Anyway, all we do is eat cake now, so that's fun. I so, that. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi guys, how are you? How's your week going? I'm loving my new little car and thank you everyone for the love on my new car in last week's vlog. And also for the feedback on times of vlogs. That was also much appreciated. I'm just listening to cigarettes after sex. That's so good. Ah. I'm just gonna turn it down because YouTube's gonna get angry at me. I had a lovely, lovely birthday. You know me, sometimes I dance on tables, sometimes I do shots. I mean, there were still shots of my birthday. Relatively mature this year. Maybe I'll act my age this year, who knows? <laughs> you know what, someone asked me, actually it was Este. Este asked me at dinner, she's like, what are you wishing for this year? The main thing I can think of that I want this year is a dog. I'm not ready right now, like, tomorrow next week this month but in the next year that feeling of connection and love that you have with your dog like that's the absolute best and even though i won't love any dog as much as i love duke i've definitely accepted that now like i feel like i'm mentally preparing myself to have another dog and to love another dog i'm now at the point where like i stop dogs in the street and just like cuddle them for 20 minutes exhibit a Baby. <laughs> you baby, are you a beautiful boy? I think it's time that I stop cuddling random people's dogs and actually get to grips with my own. Pomeranians are such a cute breed and I love them. Like anytime I see a Pomeranian in the park, my soul just melts. Recently ran into the Pomeranian meetup in Hyde Park. Maybe like 40 Pomeranians. My soul had departed Earth. Just think Pomeranian's gonna come, think like, like, just be too similar to Duke. I'd love an enormous dog. Like I before Duke I had a Doberman way back in the day, but they are really hard to to train apparently I think and they're not really such lap dogs and also they need like so much exercise. I think I remember our Doberman needs so much exercise. I do love Cooper, my cousin's dog, Cooper the multi poo. And I'm kind of thinking multi poo, but they are like quite needy and Duke wasn't so got some stuff to think about, but definitely that was something that I thought like in the next year, like by this time next year, even I like touch wood, I would absolutely love to have a dog in my life. Honestly, coming home to no dog is so being lonely when you're so used to having someone with you all the time like a dog just like being your companion your best friend and being around you all the time it really like doesn't compare not having that sucks i'm going now for dinner with two laurens actually lauren my friend from miami and lauren my London Lauren. We're going to one of our favorite places for dinner, which is the gym, which is why I'm literally in leggings and a denim jacket. Because you know why? It's healthy and then they have like healthy snacks and healthy sides and healthy desserts. You know when it's like cacao desserts, but they actually taste so good. So you think you're being healthy, but really, are you? The other saga I have to tell you about is I'm a maid of honor in three weeks and I don't have my dress. So actually there are three events, three main events. I don't have a dress for any of them. I have bought a dress for the rehearsal dinner, which I actually found on sale and it was the last one on like the whole of the internet and it's a size 12. So I need to take it to a really special, it's actually a bridal alterations place I'm taking it to because I need to get it from a size 12 to like, I'm a size eight. So I need to literally nip and tuck this entire dress and I want to take it to them and see if it's possible. I don't think I could take it to my usual tailor because it will be such a complicated job. So I'm going to try do that tomorrow and like fingers crossed they tell me I can. The amazing thing about my job is that we dress up so much like as influencers you get invited to so many gorgeous like dinners and events and things like that. So when it comes to like finding like a really special dress chances are I've like worn something similar or I've seen something similar and I've just been like looking and looking and looking on the internet and I on the internet I sound like Mama Rachel but I've been looking so much and I've been going to stores and I just haven't found anything that's like yes this is it this is what I'm wearing and now it's too late to get something made in time but I need to by the end of this week I've figured out everything I'm wearing and I'm thinking I might go to Ellie Saab so if anyone sees any gorge new dresses on the internet why do I keep saying on the internet like Amelia. If you do see any dresses from brands that I won't have seen on like Netaporte, my Teresa Motor, or Brown Ella, then please send them to me because I would love to see them. Good evening. Oh my 
gone. I was really feeling quite zen for a minute there. Guys, can I tell you something? Mega. That's taken me 32 years that only occurred to me now. I got through. Are you focusing? Because this is important information. I got through a birthday without crying. I think I said this last year. I need to go back and check. I didn't have a crying fest on my birthday, which I didn't. I did elsewhere, but I cried last year after I said that I hadn't cried. I can't remember when exactly, but I didn't get through my birthday without crying. That's a lie. I have selective memory, apparently. I didn't cry in the way that I did cry the years before. I shed a few peaceful tears thinking about how it was my first birthday without Duke, but I didn't cry. To me, there's a difference between like shedding peaceful tears and crying. Something about my birthday. I know I'm not the only person that thinks this because when I said this on TikTok about crying on my birthday, knowing that I always end up crying on my birthday, everyone was like, lol, same. So I know I'm not the only one that cries on their birthday. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the pressure of all the energy on you. I don't know. I have just used my Clay de Po face cleansing oil which is so gorgeous guys i have really itchy skin and it's not because it's not hydrated but i think it's my laundry detergent has anyone had that my skin is really itchy it's not anything i'm putting on my body even if i put nothing it's still itchy i think it's my laundry detergent oh dear that just occurred to me as i'm saying it aloud to you has anyone had that before because my laundry detergent is non-bio so it shouldn't be making me itchy but it is lancome my absolute favorite renergy serum i've been using this pretty much since it came out which was like two years ago it has three different components in it like one two three and then when you pump it out it's a mix of the three it's beautiful gives you such a great glow this eye cream i finally have back in my life it's the best eye cream in the world and it is super luxurious it's the clay de po eye cream and then for ultimate hydration i think i need this because my skin i've just been drinking so much for my birthday and dinners and whatever so let's use clay de po la creme which is heaven in a bottle oh pure luxury silk cashmere if you have a pet a goat they have like a really nice little beard similar to a beard that i have except that their hair is much softer lol i do have a beard electrolysis it though that's nice right it's time for me to shut the f up because i'm rambling on about my beard hair now it's not sexual is it no, no man's watching this see how nice would it be to be in bed with my dog right now? How nice would it be my little dog is putting his little head in the middle of the cute little lip balm pre-bed. This is the new Summer Fridays iced coffee one. I should probably not use iced coffee lip balm before bed because it actually feels like the smell is is quite awakening, but it's it's nice. It just tastes and smells so good that I can't stop. Even though it feels weird to be smelling coffee before bed. Anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for the birthday wishes and for making me feel so loved and so special. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next Sunday at 9.30am with another vlog. Bye guys.